is up? My name is Megan. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe and welcome to a vlog. Is this vlog a weekend vlog or a weekly vlog? You may ask and to that I say I don't know. We'll go where the wind takes us. So today is Saturday. It's the 20th of April. It's just afternoon and I have been a productive girly. If you saw on my community page I've been ill for the past like two weeks now and it's not like an illness like the flu I just I don't know what I have yet I'm going to get some tests done next Wednesday so you might come along for the ride who knows but I am feeling a little bit better with the medication I've been able to take that means that I have been back to work at the later part of the week and I also have this urge to get shit done because when I'm sick I need to be productive so first we're gonna talk about the books I'm currently reading and then we'll go into like quickly what I have read in the past week just very casually um, and books I've DNF'd and then we can talk like plans. Books I'm currently reading, one I need to finish the last I think, I think two hours of the Miss Week School for Music Craft audiobook. Uh, I need to sit down and film a review for that as well. That's like one of the videos I want to film this weekend which is going to be a heavy content filming weekend for me because I need to catch up because I was sick and this is a book that I really want to highlight on my channel because I do think it's very underhyped and I just need more people to read it because I think it's like an astonishingly good middle grade and like nobody ever talks about it so we're doing that and we are also reading The Wrong Mr. Right by Stephanie Archer earlier this week I read That Kind of Guy which is the first book in the companion series and it is the Queen Cove series and it's essentially following following four different brothers and in The Wrong Mr. Right we follow Wyatt who is a surfer trying to go pro he has this little surf shop in Queen's Cove and we also follow Hannah who owns a bookstore with her dad that was actually her mom's before she passed away and the context to the story and how we're making characters like get together and like the plot of this is that Hannah is almost 30 years old and she doesn't really like where she's at. The bookstore isn't doing super well. Her dad doesn't want to change anything because they don't want to like change what they're mother slash his wife did before she passed and she doesn't have a boyfriend she's never dated she's just like I need to like become this hot girl and make my mom proud and like get out of my shell and so she enlists the help of Wyatt and in exchange she helps him with social media so that he can get sponsors to go pro in surfing because obviously it is costly and it is them spending time together and I'm already obsessed I'm 60 pages in and I was obsessed to the point where like I went down this really big rabbit hole of trying to find someone who was selling the Eternal Embers version of The Wrong Mr. Right which they did for one of like their birthday boxes and you guys the cover for that I'll insert a photo is breathtaking and I finally did it you guys I found someone who was selling the book for cost plus shipping so they're shipping it out to my stackery and I'm gonna have a version of that if someone did a version like a, a, a special edition of that kind of guy I also would have gotten it because this is a solid five stars and it's already like a prediction of mine that this will also be five stars so that's what I'm reading I've been in a very big romance kick one of the actual videos I'm gonna film this weekend is like all the romance books I read while I was sick and all of them were like four and five stars so I want to do like a mini review of each in one video because I think those are helpful and if you guys have similar tastes to me then it can help decide what you want to pick up next. I also wanted to mention I'm really in this like energy high because I just filmed a video unboxing the first ever fairy loot romantasy box and I am obsessed with how this book turned out and I'm so excited to read it. It's it's beautiful if you want to see my full thoughts the video will also all, already be out by the time you are seeing this but like go watch it please. Thank you. So that's kind of like what I'm reading and what needs to get done in the next couple of days. As for um, DNFs, this is a hard no for me. Uh, this is To Tell You The Truth by Gilly McMallon. I had picked this up at Value Village. It was like in perfect condition. 
I had hopes this is about like a, an author and it was a thriller and I read the first 60 pages and I was like absolutely not this is boring like it shouldn't take 150 pages for this book to get somewhere when it's like 300 pages and very predictable I went to the end of this when I was like I right, screw it I'm DNFing and I already knew that, like how it was gonna end 60 pages in so that was disappointing it's gonna go in my unhaul pile and a book i'm currently soft dnfing is in the lives of puppets by tj clune this is a book i had picked up for a vlog which i had to scrap because i was ill but the concept may remain actually in this vlog uh it's basically a vlog where i had put every single book i own that i have not read and this is massive like there's hundreds of titles in here and i just pick them up from this jar, I pick one and we read it. This has helped me cure my book indecision paralysis where I just stare at my shelves and don't know what to read. And so we might be coming back to this jar a lot in the near future. Um, in the near future being as soon as I'm finished with The Wrong Mr. Right. So this isn't because I wasn't liking it, but clearly I was in the mindset of like binging romances and then I picked this from the jar and I was like, this is very jarring no pun intended and it's just I couldn't focus on the book and I know I'm gonna love this so I just want to put it down and pick it back up when I will be in the proper mindset so those are the DNFs I've been reading a lot of romance and that's kind of where we're at as for plans for the weekend as I said lots of content creation I also need to plan my May TBR obviously then Candyland picks what ends up sticking in this TBR or not but there's a lot of releases and a lot of things I want to get to in the next month because I've been itching to read all the books uh, so that needs to get done we're gonna do um, my April or I guess May reset maybe this weekend as well so those are things that are happening we are going to going to also have some books to uh, haul because some of them are coming in the mail we're gonna do a lot of cleaning and decluttering I spend my morning decluttering my fridge I'll show you a before and after picture even though it's embarrassing just to show you guys how much effort I put into it it took like an hour and a half to like deep clean I threw out everything that wasn't good and just the whole thing and then I went for a walk with my dog and I felt like I could conquer the world you know those times please tell me someone relates so we're gonna do more of that like closet clean out maybe the pantry those kinds of things there's laundry there's clean to do so you guys are gonna come along and I also want to show you guys all the arts and crafts and hobbies I've accumulated in the past few weeks because we might also be doing some of that together um, because I got sick and tired of sitting in front of the TV and just re-watching the same show over and over and so I was like I need to occupy my mind in different ways and so we got a lot of different crafts to try and we're gonna obviously try them all together that's kind of like why I got these to like make content also around it so yeah that is what the week is going to look like thank you for sticking with me through this long intro um and let's get stuff done let's be in a good mood but I also need to go take my meds because I am dizzy <laughs> leftovers from my lunch which by the way absolutely delightful but I wanted to update you guys because I put my brave big girl pants on today I was watching Krista from books and jams I don't know why I always want to call her Becca that's not her name um and I love her channel especially for middle grade but just like all her content I always watch her live shows I always watch her videos um she is part of middle grade March and had asked me to be part of that collab anyways um she is celebrating her eight years here on booktube and I was like joining in and I commented like hi like glad to be here and she's like hey if you want to like 
hop on to live with us, feel free to. Mind you, when I do a live show, there's like 10 people there on a good day. There was like 160 people watching her at like <laughs> any given time because she has, she has like over 10k subscribers, which are very well deserved if you haven't watched her before. I will link her channel. But like 160 people ooh, is intimidating and like she was there along with two other friends who I believe I've both like seen videos of them. Um, but they all know each other but they don't know me. And so I decided to join anyways because like eight years on booktube is a pretty big deal and it's just like a great way to meet new people. But I felt like I was so awkward when she was like introduce yourself and I was like my name is Maine and I read books like I <laughs> anyways we're currently on a sprint so I'm gonna eat a little bit with the remaining time I have and then I'm gonna go sit back down and try to make some friends and read some books because that is what booktube is about but like it felt surreal and I gained like 10 subscribers in the span of like two minutes which is unheard of for me so thank you Krista <laughs> Happy Sunday. It's 9 a.m. I've been up for a while, but I finally got half ready. Can't really see the fit, but here's the fit. It's like beige pants, cargo pants, and a top. Um, we're going grocery shopping, and uh, before all that, I have to also sell back beer and soda, like bottles and cans. Uh, in Canada, you're charged for that, and then when you consign them again like bring them back to the machines you kind of get the money back and I always like to like get that money back and use it for things like gas money other fun stuff so I have a like trunk full of that so we're gonna do that and then go grocery shopping I also need to gas my car and then we'll come back and we'll chat but I really don't want to do this so I'm bringing you guys along with me Hello friends, I made it back from the grocery store and I am um, pooped. It took like two hours for me to like bring all my like soda and beer cans and stuff and put them through the machine and then I did my groceries and then I had to go to another grocery store because we're trying to be as cost effective here as possible because everything is expensive and then I also had to get gas which I was so happy because with the amount of money I made for my beer and soda was enough to cover like a full gas tank so that's like a good portion of money that I can like put elsewhere especially because gas is so expensive right now in Canada it's like a dollar eighty a liter a liter I don't know if I'm making sense I don't even know what it's called anymore is it a liter of gas What is the right word? It feels wrong, but I don't know what the right word is. And I am in Canada, so no, it's not the same as all of you in the US. But let me tell you, it's expensive. So, got home from the grocery store. If you're wondering what's on the meals uh, planned for this week, today we are having a fondue to celebrate my partner's birthday, which was last week, but we didn't have time to celebrate. So we're doing that this evening. We are having onion soup with like homemade broth and everything tomorrow because it's gonna be a colder day. Then we're gonna have homemade pizza as well as hamburgers, which is like so many of my favorite foods. And for lunch, I'm gonna be making adult Lunchables, um, which I love. I do this pretty much every week where I just put like fruits and veggies, uh, something with a little, bit, a little bit more protein and that kind of stuff just put together kind of like a snack box, but for lunch and it really keeps me full. And it works for me that way and I can like change it out, but I am a habit of creature. I just like eating the same things over and over, but I thought maybe I can show you guys a few of the fun, like more fun things. I got in my grocery haul, so let's do it. Also, peep my fun grocery bag. I didn't bring my other one, but this is North Bear Shores from the Biblio Styles. It is beach read inspired, and I also have another one that's the green one for the grocery gladiators, which is for Happy Place. I forgot to mention, like, this is the perfect segue. Hold on, my throat. 
funny story comes out on Tuesday here in the UK, I think it's Thursday. My Waterstones exclusive copy is on the way and I got a, sh a notification today that payment was taken for Skandar and the Chaos Trials, which is also coming out on Thursday in the UK. It comes out in May in US slash Canada. My two most anticipated releases. How could I men forget to mention that at the start of this vlog? I don't know, but uh, one random thing that I never usually get and never see in grocery stores are chocolate covered strawberries and I think this could be fun to like celebrate my partner so I got one of each one for each person um he's not a sweets person he might not even have these but I thought like I'm not gonna buy a cake but it's fun to have like a little dessert on hand so I got that I am a sweets person through and through um so when I go to this little grocery store uh, I get myself a few like desserts as treats like single size portions so that I don't waste one thing about me, I love pecan pie, so I always get this one. It's amazing, and I got myself a little chocolate cake. This is like my after dinner dessert, or I sometimes bring one to work to cheer me up. And my congratulations for doing the groceries by yourself treat has been this little bag of candy. So we got basil for the pizza. Another really random thing, mini M&Ms and yogurt as a sweet treat as well. Um, I always struggle to get my intake of like dairy and stuff um, mix these things together it works the grocery store does this like there's a brand that actually does it um, but it's like three dollars for two little cups so make them yourself save some money I eat like a child sometimes I am well aware this is for right now because I was starting to feel like I was gonna faint in the grocery store strawberries were on sale I don't know if this is like a Quebec thing, a Canada thing, or if you have this in the US as well, but cheese whiz, I am gonna gross a lot of you guys out by telling you this. I make grilled cheese and olive rolls. Um, grilled cheese, what am I saying? Cheese whiz and olive rolls. And this is one of the things I'm gonna make for my lunches this week. A lot of people find it gross. It's been a thing in my family for a while. This is for my partner. It's a little size of the Ruffles onion dip. He always waits, wastes the big one, so I thought I'd buy him a small one. And then we have the chicken and beef for fondue. So one bag down, let me put that in the right place. Up next, we got bag number two. Some hamburger buns for the hamburgers. We got some bread for my rolls. I usually take another kind of bread, but it's hard to find and I was in the mood to like go to a million places. Baguette for fondue and for onion soup. Some chippies because I'm also a salty girl, but these are like lightly salted because they go with something else. Goldfish or sh should sponsor me. I eat these every week. But they have to be the mega ones with the sharp cheddar. They are amazing. English muffins to make egg McMuffins. This is for something very specific that also relates to the chips. I saw this on TikTok and I was like, I need to try those. Got some tomatoes, and a really big red onion. Last and certainly not least, because it's a big one, is this bucket of groceries. So, every week, let me show you. This is another like TikTok hack, but every week I make a veggie platter with this. So in that veggie platter, we usually put carrots. I also have cauliflower. There will be some broccoli, but a lot of this is going to be used towards the fondue. Celery. My partner is a really big celery person. I enjoy it as well. Also with Cheese Whiz, which is also gross to a lot of people. And cucumber, which was 75 cents. So I got three because, yes please. We are also going to be making a radish and cucumber salad. So I got radish and salad. I got 
a little bit of grapes because they weren't all that nice but i still wanted some that were like harder um i usually bring these in my snack boxes at lunch uh we have some cherry tomatoes which also go in my lunch snack boxes i got some cheese fun fact uh my partner recently realized he is lactose intolerant but i am not and i like cheese so this is also for the fondue speaking of lactose intolerant we have his milk which is obviously lactose free we have the fair life which is like apparently the best lactose free milk we have two percent that he drinks and then 3.25 percent for some recipes i believe that's what he asked for i am not the cook in my household my dog's ball was at the bottom of this and we also have this which is whipped philadelphia chive this is amazing with chips but then i saw on tiktok people cut like nice crispy peppers in two and put it on there and i was like yes please and so this is for both the chips and the peppers one healthy one not so healthy this is to make the dip i eat with my veggies i can show you guys i have some sweet gherkin pickles because again fondue when i just like eating them no i am not pregnant fruitopia which is apparently the hardest thing to find i've been looking for it for like weeks it's always sold out everywhere and the last thing in the grocery is oh no there's two other things broth for fondue you need two of them apparently so i got two and then let me flip you over we're back lit so i'm gonna make this quick <laughs> y'all just fell from my makeshift stand on the scott towel rack i apologize for that the one thing i cannot live without Coke Zero. I know a lot of people like Coke Diet fans, girlies. Coke Zero with some nice crisp ice and a nice glass. Some people put their glass in the freezer for a couple of minutes. I need to try that hack. I clearly have started going on TikTok again, which is unfortunate, but not at the same time. And the last thing is this. We don't buy a lot of water, but this is for the pets. Um, it's way easier, it's clean, they like it, and so you can just like flip it like this on your counter and use it as you wish. I'm gonna put everything away and then we can talk reading updates because this is indeed a vlog, but it, this is more of a like a spend some time with me vlog. And you can't even see me, hello. Hello, we are back sitting in the kitchen for updates. Let's talk reading first. First book I am still currently reading is The Wrong Mr. Right. I only read a few pages on sprints yesterday. Uh, when I sprint, I find it hard to also like be reading and annotating and I'm always like tabbing books that I think will be five stars. I have an annotation video. If you want more of my thoughts on how I annotate, I will leave that for you guys. But it gets a little bit too much for my brain to like compute, especially when I'm sprinting with other people. And yesterday, like, I had a blast. I was really shy. Obviously, the first time you meet people, especially online, it's a little bit tricky. I think I'm more outgoing in real life. And even then, outgoing is a big stretch to describe me. My dog is whining for no reason. Please ignore her. So I did pick this one up, which means this will be carried over into my regular weekly reading vlog, which I have grand plans for starting tomorrow. So this vlog is going to end today. So instead, I decided to listen to my audiobook for the Mystery School of Music Craft, which I've talked about a lot, but as I said, it's a middle grade book series. This is the first in the series that follows a main character who ends up attending this school where basically everybody are musicians, the most talented musicians in the world go to the school when they are kids and they learn to like hone in on their craft and therefore become more magical because music is magic and i now have an hour and a half left of this audio so the deal i made with myself is i'll finish this audiobook with this vlog and then we can like wrap it up 
but I'm really enjoying it. I think the plot is thickening. The um, characters are getting more and more developed as is the plot line and I am fully invested. There's kind of like a small mystery in here as well um, of like a paranormal entity that is introduced in this book and you're trying to figure out like is that the person they think it is? Why is this person here? What does this have to do with the plot? Um, and just our character learning about her magic and her skills. It's a lot of fun. As I said, I am planning to sit down and film a review. I thought I'd have more time to make content this weekend, but I've been alone most of the weekend, which is like prime time for content creation. However, it also means that I had the responsibility of most things to do this weekend. So like cleaning, laundry, groceries, if I wanted to have a functional week, I did not have a choice to go ahead and do it on my own because my partner, the golf has started and therefore I am alone <laughs> a lot because tis the season um, with taking care of pets and just like the whole thing so I don't know if I'm even gonna have time to film more videos this weekend I do want to film at least my Candyland spins so that I, I can figure something out and be prepared to film um, but yeah those are the updates honestly miss wick i would not be surprised if it ended up being a five star i also wanted to mention and i will be making a video about this um not everybody has access to audiobooks as easily as people do in the u.s not everybody has access to libby not everybody has access to so many things and so I've been experimenting with different audiobook services to see what I think is worth it or not. And I recently heard about BookBeat because they've been uh, working with a few of the creators I watch, especially Beth, Beth at BookNest. Uh, she had a referral code and I decided, let's have a peruse, let's see what this is. And honestly, you guys, obviously they're not, <laughs> they're not sponsoring me, they're not working with me. I just think it's incredible because the way the audiobook service works is instead of doing like you get one credit so one book a month and then like somebody off of other like other books if you decide to purchase uh, like Audible and Libro you get hours of listening so there's three different kinds of like choices you can make and one of them is like a hundred hours of listening per month and if you average out for me example a lot of the audiobooks I listen to are between like 12 and 15 hours. That's like a solid six audiobooks a month for around $20 Canadian. It's like 15 pounds, so like roughly $21, $22 ish. That is insane. So I am trying it out with Beth's code, which I highly recommend one that you watch Beth and two that you use her referral and try it out because there's a lot of really well known audios. I was afraid that like their library is going to be like super backless titles. They have a lot of new titles. They don't have everything and like Audible has the rights to so many books, but still I thought it was an amazing find, which leads me to say in the next week, I obviously want to listen to some audiobooks while I do some crafts and I wanted to talk to you guys about the crafts I got which is one of the things I, I mentioned so let's let's chat one of the audiobooks I recently got through Libro is Chess of the Emerald Sea and it sounds like someone like is actually telling you a fairy tale um, from the sample I got so this is an audiobook I would like to read soon and I might find something on BookBeat as well and I also have my audios for Funny Story and Skandar which are gonna come through and I need to finish my read of Skandar too. Big priority for the upcoming week, spoiler. Um, but while I'm doing all of that, I wanna learn and do some new crafts. So one thing I got from Michaels is a paint by number kit. I love like drawing and stuff but it has to be guided. I'm not the most creative person yet but I do believe you can become more and more creative as you do things and so paint by number for me really fuels my need and this oh my god my dog's playing with her huge ball is the print. So we have a dog, a cat, some books like the whole thing and you can actually hang it up like it comes with the kit to hang it so this is like one of the things that like is calling most to me it comes with the paint brushes the paint a whole thing and it was not super expensive and i had a 20 percent off coupon 
two random things uh, I found at Dollar Tree when I went to Ontario last time are an embroidery hoop kit and a knitting kit. These were a dollar fifty each, and these are two things that I'm super interested in learning, but also afraid I'm gonna get angry at because I have the fatal flaw of getting really angry and anxious when I don't understand something, even if it's just for the sake of having fun. But as some of you may know, I'm in my strawberry era, so I got this to um, embroider, and apparently this isn't super hard to learn, and this might be a little harder. It is a like keychain kit that you crochet. I don't know. It's cute. This might be at a later date when the creative juices are flowing a little bit more. But like, what's the harm in trying, you know? I also have, and this is random because it's not a craft in of itself, but butterfly cookie cutters that I found at Michael's. They were from the Easter collection. Technically, the 90% off. I got this for like just over a dollar. I used to be a baker. Uh, I, I love to bake. I would bake cakes, cupcakes, cookies. Like my cookies were as good as the Subway cookies. They were just, I was really good at it. And then at the age of 22, my sister was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And obviously I was still living with my parents at the time, as was she. And so we kind of stopped eating sweets. Um, Clearly, you can see it's not the case for me anymore. I do enjoy sweets probably a little bit too much, but I wanna get back into baking. The thing is, I'm pretty much the only one who eats sweets. Um, so I'm trying to find alternatives and things that I can bake that are not gonna be wasteful because not wasting is really important to me. One of the reasons I bring back all my soda and beer cans and bottles is because it's environmentally friendly. Um, so I got these to try my hand at decorating cookies and if you do not know this, butterflies are very, very meaningful to me and a special anniversary is coming up very quickly. Um, it's a sad day, but it's a day that I want to make joyful. So I have this, a fun fact about me, I have a butterfly tattoo right here. And the last thing, no, that's not through. I, I can't talk. Yesterday I was told I have an accent and ever since then, I've been questioning my life. We got markers on Amazon. Uh, everybody has been like raving about these markers and I have a coloring book coming in today, which I'm gonna show you guys. So I wanna color, I wanna draw. I was getting really good at drawing when I did my bullet journaling a while ago. Be right back, my dog. As I was saying, I was getting really good at drawing when I did bullet journaling in 2020. Um, but I stopped because I wasn't doing so well. But I want to get back into all of that. I was getting really good at drawing like little animals and like it made me feel really good about myself. And the last thing and most exciting thing are Legos. Am I a Lego girly? I don't really know. So I went with things that I want to put on my bookshelves that don't have too many pieces and that weren't super expensive. So I went with a creator three in ones. This is beautiful. This is, I'm gonna be building the ukulele to put on my bookshelf. Fun fact about me, I used to own the ukulele. I tried to learn to play it. I sold it. I regret every day of my life selling that ukulele. We're not gonna talk about it. This is gonna be on my bookshelves. And again, the other thing I got that I want to build is this watering can with the butterflies. Again, butterflies are my thing. Um, my sister recently got me these like hair clips with butterflies and she's like, they made me think of you when like when someone tells me butterflies, clearly butterflies, make me, make them think of me, I want to cry. So this is also really cute and both of them have like three or four hundred pieces. This one has 387 and this one has 420. So I can do this while listening to audiobooks and not get angry and just have a good time and display them on my shelves. Will this start a new obsession? Maybe. Um, some other things I want to get better at is makeup and doing my nails. I have something fun for my nails coming today. Um, I really want to do my own nails, but not like acrylics or um, press-ons because I don't like having long nails, but I want them to be cute. Right now my hands are stubby and nasty. Um, so those are all things I want to learn. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I'm gonna go put everything away and maybe pop in my audiobook while I do some more cleaning. 
you guys almost fell. I'm here to wrap up the vlog. It's 5 p.m. on Sunday. The rest of the evening will obviously be spent celebrating my partner's birthday as well as preparing like lunches, outfits, everything that needs to be done for tomorrow. I got a lot of solid cleaning done this afternoon. I also went with my dog for a walk and like update of the century everyone. My dog, as you may have seen by many of vlogs by now, is a little bit of a whiner. Um, she's scared of like her own shadow, which is something we're obviously working on, but she also hates getting her nails cut. Every time my partner tried to cut her nails, she like runs away screaming like someone was trying to hurt her. She's also playing with her ball. Um, but today, I tried cutting her nails for the first time. I'm only missing two. We did every other nail and I could not be happier. She was the best. She didn't whine. She kept cuddling me. She didn't try to bite. I don't know what's gotten into her, but like, I feel blessed that I don't have to like run around and try to find an appointment for her nails because they were getting bad. So like something had to be done, but God bless. I was able to do it myself. Also, you might hear the TV in the background. I'm sorry, but during my walk and my cleaning, I was able to finish Mr. Wick's School of Music Craft. I will put a picture of here, five out of five stars. The ending of this book had me like sitting down in my kitchen, just staring into the void and like I had chills all over my body listening to the audiobook. I cannot wait to jump into book two. I currently don't have the audiobook and I don't have audio like audible credits on like on audible and it's an audible exclusive so it might wait it was technically on my tbr for this month but i'm not really sure what will be done but like as i said i will be sitting down and reviewing that book fully um but just know five out of five stars highly recommend the messages in this book the plot twist so many plot twists i did not see coming in like the uncovering of the mystery um of that paranormal element i was telling you guys about before but let me get my dog to stop we got the culprit so five out of five stars absolutely recommend we'll be bringing this into the next week um if you guys want to know what's on the docket for next week's vlog we have this book i want to finish then we'll be picking out stuff from the tbr jar so i don't really know what my next few books are gonna look like which is super exciting to me and that's kind of like what i'm in the mood for at this time and i'm also supposed to get a few really exciting deliveries um one of them being a very special pair of crocs which is very random and i'm anticipating a lot of like different things um happening during the week i also have my medical appointment so if you guys want to know more about like how my health is going i'll be talking about that in the vlog and just like bringing you guys on a week of work as a social worker kind of as well and hopefully doing a lot of reading because I really am getting back into my reading mojo like I've been feeling it for the past week so yeah I'm happy to report I did not feel really dizzy today which is like my main symptom as of now um, and that is without medication so I'm crossing my fingers it keeps going this way so yeah I know we did a lot of like random more chatty bits in this vlog let me know if you enjoyed coming on all, like along on a random like few days with me doing a few random things seeing my grocery haul and stuff and what I should include again in upcoming vlogs so yeah thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you very soon with another video do let me know in the comments if there's anything more you also want to see in these vlogs um, I also forgot to I was closing up this vlog and we came back to a tangent. There will be a lot of crafts and hobbies getting done in the next week. I want to build some Legos, I want to do some paint by numbers, some coloring, and my nails. So that should all be in next week's vlog as well. Stay tuned. Love you guys. See you very soon with another video. Do let me know what you want to see in upcoming vlogs or what videos you want me to film. And yeah, happy reading. Bye.